Welcome guys to another video, I am Nayer, and in today's video I'm going to be talking about games that I want to come to console. Now if you do not know, I do play, well, on here I play the Xbox Series S. Yeah, I got the Series S, I do not have a disk drive, so I do not buy physical copies, and that was on purpose because I, I stopped buying physical copies when I started buying and got in really into getting digital games. Now, I think um, there's a lot of games that I really want to come to console. Now, I mean, I say console and that is a broad term. I could be call, talk about PlayStation or I could be talking about the Xbox or is Nintendo Switch really considered a console? No, I don't think so, but either way, these two consoles, I could be talking about either one. Well, specifically the Xbox, of course, also bring it to PlayStation, that would be cool, but specifically Xbox, since that's the one I play. Now let's get into it, I'm, 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 I'm gapping. Number one is Buckshot Roulette. Now if you watch the Summer, Summer Game Fest, they did show the top new Steam games between January and May of this year. And Buckshot Roulette was one of them. It is a really fun looking game. It is has cha a challenge mode. It is a little bit of challenging. And I want to see that game to come to console. Now I'm pretty sure the person that made Buckshot Roulette is not a team of developers. I think it is maybe a couple of dudes. Maybe one dude. I don't know. If I remember right, he made other games in the past. And he is one guy or at least like maybe like a few so he's not a big developing team so he might not have the money or maybe the resources to like put it onto console but that would be great game number two that i want to come to console is um fear one now i know this is a really old game from the 360 days but it's not on the Xbox One, or the new gen, or anything. It is not non-existent. Literally. Like, you can get Fear 2 and Fear 3. Everybody know Fear 3 sucks. Fear 2 is... It's alright, but I do want to get it. And I want to play the first two Fears. Well, Fear 1 doesn't exist on here. It doesn't exist on the Xbox. They have... 2 and 3, but not the first one. Makes zero sense to me. I don't know. Either way. Third game that I want them to bring to console is... Um, and the next game is Ambiotic Factor. A game that I think really has a lot of potential. And is kind of pretty big on YouTube. I don't know about like streaming streaming play platforms but i do know that on youtube there's a lot of youtube creators that are making videos and series on ambiotic factor it looks like a very fun game yes it's mostly co-op i think you could play you could play solo i'm pretty sure but it probably is the funnest when you are playing with friends so i mean yeah i probably would have to ha be like yo Bro, can you buy Ambiotic Factor? It would... I would still play it alone, but it would be funner with friends. Game number four... Um... Is... And I'm like... I'm like blanking on the games that I want to come to console. Um... This is a group of games made by one developer... And it is Welcome to the Game 1, Welcome to the Game 2, Scrutinized, and Dead Signal. Four games in a similar type of series. Now, Welcome to the Game 1 and 2 are directly a, a, a series. Scrutinized is a offshoot, but a really good game. And Dead Signal also is a really good game. Now, I, I can't remember the, the developers on the top of my head, but they make fun horror games. Survival, I guess they're considered survival horror games because you've got to 
survive. But um, it it just look it looks really fun. It deals with the dark web, um, and stuff like that, and and catching people, and it would just be a lot of fun. Now number five, technically is actually coming to console because I just saw it. It is going to be coming out is Valorant. And now listen, to, I know, I know Valorant. But I do think Valorant looks fun to play, um, and so I want to play Valorant, but I'm not those sweaty nerds that don't take showers and play Valorant, trust me. I just want to play Valorant, like, whatever. Another game kind of similar is CSGO. Um, I kind of wish that was, like, playable on console. Um, CSGO 2, wish it was on console. At least, if they're not gonna, like, like redo CSGO, want CSGO, the original, to put, be playable on console, then bring CS2. Um, another game that I want to see come to console is... Now, if you want me to make a part two, I'm gonna do so, but the last game that I can think of on the top of my head right now, and I'm gonna become... I'm gonna come prepared next time, part two, and write stuff down. The last game is Escape from Tarkov, and I like the whole concept of extraction shooters, I love shooter games, I've been playing shooter games since I was three, because my first game, ever game was Black Ops 1, and it is just, it is just a great, it would be fun, um, I don't know why it's not on console, it's not like, I don't think it would be that hard to put it on to console. But anyway, and actually, last game is Mortars, or Marauders, Marauders, that's how you say it, Marauders. It is a game like Escape from Tarkov, but it's in space, and it is, it's on Steam. I don't think, it, it might be dead, to be honest, I don't know, but when I did see it, when it first came out, it looked really fun, and looked cool, and it's not on console, um, and I, I kind of want... I want to play extraction shooters, and we have, like, no extraction shooters on console except Hunt Showdown. That's a really good game. I want to buy that game. I don't have it yet, but I want to buy it. It is... We just need more extraction shooters on console. Anyway. Like, subscribe, share notification, on, share to at least one friend or more. It helps me out a lot. And uh, comment down below what games you want to play on console. If you play on console, you might be PC. PC watchers, gamers that watch me. Um, anyway, I'll see you guys in the next video. Fat on my chin, and see you guys in the next video.